Hello and welcome to another unboxing video with Neo Rambler and this time we have some Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega Tins. I believe the latest ones, although they've been out for a couple of months or three months or whatever period of time it is, that is most recent. Um, I didn't actually buy these, these were given to me by a friend of mine, Yu-Gi-Oh! Hostman21, who did a couple of videos with me on the channel uh, a while ago, uh, we opened up a booster box together, I forget which one it was, um, but he also showed off his uh, Ghost Collection, or his Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost Card Collection, so uh, if you want to know more about those, I'll put some links in the description below to those videos in question. Check out the Ghost one anyway, I mean it was filmed poorly, but that was my fault, not his, but his collection is very impressive. But anyway, uh, I went to the pub with him recently, as I do usually on a Saturday night, and he gave me two of these as a gift, because he's nice like that, and I'm very grateful. But he asked me to open them on the channel, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, like I said, these have been out for a while, um, and they're pretty cool actually. I mean, to begin with, I love the tins. Um, very nice detail, a sort of, uh, uh, is it sarcophagus, I guess? I don't know, yeah, maybe, I don't know. But the point being is, is it's very nice and golden and spangly and embossed and mm, lovely. Um, and it was very cool, this tin, because it came out with um, some really cool promo cards, which I'm hoping to get uh, a handful of, since we've got two to open, which is very nice. Um, and three cards that kind of go into any kind of deck in order to give you a little bit of an upper hand against meta decks, although I put that in quotation marks. I'm not that up to date with the game, but they were cool cards, and I can see their purpose. And it's nice to see Konami doing something nice for a change by, yes, okay, Konami have made Yu-Gi-Oh! a pay-to-win kind of game, but then again, you could argue all trading card games are like that, um, and basically are physical loot boxes, but the cards they've put in... Uh, the three promos that I'm talking about in, in question, I can't remember what the name's off the top of the head, but one of them's a spell card, and it's pretty cool, um, have sort of tried to level out the playing field a bit. So it's nice that they add variety and try not to forget the older decks and the older styles, even though they are still way out of date in terms of their abilities compared to the meta. But anyway, I'm rambling. That's what I do. Let's get on. This is the 2019 Gold Sarcophagus tin. See, I was right. This Gold Sarcophagus tin includes three Mega Packs plus five additional foil cards. Uh, each of the three Mega Packs include one Prismatic Secret Rare, which I don't really give a toss about, one Ultra Rare, one Super Rare, and 12 Common Cards, including cards from the following booster sets, Flames of Destruction, or Flame of Destruction, Dark Saviors, Cybernetic Horizon, and Soul Fusion. Again, some of them I'm familiar with, some of them are not. I don't care, I just want to see the cards. The ones I do care, though, are the additional foil cards. You can get two of six new monsters with art by Kazuki Takahashi, if that's how I pronounce his name... Creative Yu-Gi-Oh, apparently, either Blue Eyes, Alternative, Ult Ultimate Dragon, that sounds pretty badass. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos Max, Exodia, the Legendary Defender, Palladium, Oracle Mana, Renai's Alternative Black Dragon, or Neo Kaiser Glider. I hope I get the dragons. And then one of three new cards designed to keep you in the duel, and that easily go into any deck. And those are the three I was referring to earlier. That can give you a bit of a hand. Two of five cards from the original Yu-Gi-Oh series use the Yu-Gi's duel, either Obelisk, Tormentor, Slide of the Sky Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ra, uh, Monster Reborn, or Raigeki. So you get some pretty cool stuff with these tins. But now we've rambled enough, so I'm going to now get rid of the cellophane wrappers of both of them. I'm not going to do it on screen because it uh, wastes more time than it needs to. I've already done that. And then we shall jump cut to when the cellophane is off. We'll open up the first tin and see what we get. So back in a sec. There we go. Right then, let's open it up and unleash the ancient Egyptian evil within. And we've got Neo Kaiser Glider. Ugh, the one that I didn't particularly care or want. Don't know how good it is, don't really care, but it is, I believe, this Prismatic Secret Rare, which apparently, if I'm not much mistaken, in the newer booster box sets, um, I don't know if it's all of them from now on or certain ones, you can get a Prismatic Secret Rare of one Ultra Rare or Secret Rare that's already in the set in question uh, for the new booster boxes, and you need to buy like eight boxes in order to get a chance of pulling just one. Just another way of Konami making you spend more monies on pointless things. But apparently they're worth money and it's collectability, so what do I care? Point being is, we've got Neo Kaiser Glider as our starting card, but I don't care about him. I mean, I might, I should, maybe I should care about him. I don't know, I don't really play the game much anymore. I just like collecting the cards. I always am a Toon Man, sadly, because I'm a bit of a thicko. But there he is, his shininess. He's a pretty cool looking card, actually, to be fair. So I'm sure it's pretty good. Uh, we've got Palladium Oracle Manor. She's pretty hot, actually. But not just that. She looks cool as well. I'm sure she's pretty awesome. Ah, that's one of the new cards. Uh, Nibiru the Primal Being. Uh, pretty good, I I think, anyway. But that's okay. 
Ooh, a nice alternative art form of Sly for the Sky Dragon. That is actually quite cool. I likey that. That is good. And then we've got the obelisk, the Tormentor, which I believe was from the... Um, well, this artwork was from the movie promo of... Um, what was it called? Dark something? Oh, Dark Julius. I forget what it's called now. Oh, Different Dimensions or Dark Dimensions or something like that. Um, I've actually got the movie promo of this card, but now they've put it in here just so you can have the artwork. Isn't that marvellous? Lovely! No Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon or the spell card that I wanted. Boom! But never mind, we've got another tin. We might get one. Not the end of the world if we don't. But what is the end of the world is these packs. So let's open them up and find out what we get. Again, don't know much about the set. Don't know much about the reprints. So we'll just take it as we go. We've got Gookie Ring Trainer. I'm sure a lot of things would be scared of him in the ring. Oh, it would be. FA Overheat. Shield Handler. Cynet Ritual. Looks pretty good in terms of the artwork. Gookie Moon Salt. Yep, he would not probably be scared of that uh, arena guy back then, so maybe not. Trickstar Nightshade. Don't really care. Realm of Danger. Now that just sounds like a really badass card, even though. Actually, no, to be fair, I think the Danger Sub Monsters or, or Danger Archetypes or whatever they're called, apparently they're supposed to be quite good if you know how to use them. A gimmicky, I think, but they are quite dangerous. Uh, they are actually quite dangerous or quite tough to go up against if you build it right, so that's kind of cool. So I guess that's this field spell card. Uh, Impcantation Candle. <laughs> I see what you did there. You created a pun. And look how sad he is because of it. Although he is having a jolly good time. Puntastic. Ooh, we've got Nightmare Unicorn. as an ultra rare Link Monster. No idea if this Link Monster is any good, but it looks cool, so I shall take it. And then for our Prismatic Secret Rare, we've got Crusadia Maximus. Again, not sure if it's any good, but... Yeah, he looks pretty Maximus-y, so I'm sure he's got some use. And then we finish off with Salaman Great Jack Jaguar. That's actually a cool name. I like that. Former pal Level Man. Yeah, he's definitely leveling something up his nose. Vampire Scarlet Scourge. Yep. Does that remind you of anyone? Konami. <coughs> Castlevania. Uh, Bravo Fighter Fur Hire. Actually looks pretty cool, but why he's hiring fur? I have no idea. Ostinato. It is not obnoxious, I promise you that. And Alvis of the Nordic Alfar. We always forget about him. That's why he's a far and forever will be. Right, next pack. Um, how do we get? I think we get three of these, if I remember correctly, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, it's just cool to open up cards. I, I've, I've always liked these. And when you get a free gift of Yu Gi Oh cards, how can I say no? Oh, well, I can't really. So we'll carry on. Beast Magic Attack. It looks amazing. Again, don't know what they do. Pause the video, have a look at the effects if you wish. Cybernetic Overflow. Uh, Transal Familiar, or Transfamiliar even. That is actually pretty scary and pretty neat. I kind of like that. Once per turn, you can target one monster you control. Move that target to another of your main monster zones. Oh, yes, they tried to make this a thing recently, and it didn't work. Oh, well, whatever. Maybe there is some use. Limit Code is a thing. World's Legacy Nightmare. That's some pretty cool artwork again. Um, no battle damage or attacks involving your co-link monsters. Oh, I guess that might have some use. I don't know. Performer Pal, Hand at Samurai. Grr. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Oh, good. Some summer summer now. I've seen this guy on the internet. just like pictures and stuff. That is like the coolest and geekiest and also quite ugly image that I've seen in a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Obviously, somebody's done it as a joke, but I quite like it because of its goofiness. Uh, two Thunder Monsters. Once per opponent's turn, you can discard one card and target one Thunder Monster in your graveyard, except Link Monster, special summon it to your exert card at this point, too. Well, I suppose there could be some use, I guess, with Thunder Dragons, maybe. I don't know, but that's cool. Ooh, Crusadia or Crusadia Arborea. She is quite pretty. And there's somebody else there praying, I guess. Are they both praying? Oh, there's another one behind her looking in awe of the one in the middle of the picture. Oh, lovely. Um, and then Thunder Dragon Duo. That is actually quite a badass looking card. And again, I believe the Thunder Dragons are actually quite cool or good. Or, uh, so that's nice to have. And again, he looks pretty badass. Then we've got Sky Striker Ace Ray. Um, don't know much about those. She looks pretty. That's all that I need to really care about. God, I sound so objectifiable. That's because I am. Uh, Gladiator Beast Dag uh, Dragasses. Well, he's definitely got some sort of ass on him, I'll tell him that. Consolation Prize. That's my, it's basically my whole life summed up. Uh, Clock Wyvern. Dino Hero for Hire. Predator Plant. Dragostapalea. It's just a silly name. And finally, the Token Collector. Uh, I don't know if he's any good or not. I should have heard of him as well, but maybe as a jokey thing. Who knows? But we have him. Right final mega pack of this tin and we'll move on to the next one probably jump cut as well because i can only film in 10 minute intervals with hd on this uh, 
phone that I use, which is a Galaxy S9, just because it's cheap and easy. Well, it's not cheap, but it's uh, not, not a bad camera, actually, although I'm sure there are better ones out there. World Legacy Struggle. What is she doing? She's pulling out a phantom sword from her abdomen with a ghosty girl helping her with it. And then everyone's like, no, don't do that. That's stupid. No wonder why there's a struggle. Don't pull swords out of your abdomen. It's very painful. Yes. Well, I guess we never learn our lessons. May Mackay or something. Background dragon. I'm sure he would stick up from the background quite a bit. So why he's called that? No idea. Dragonuti Senatus. Some sort of disease, I think. Vendred Nightmare. Again, looks pretty cool. Uh, Trickstar Manstrake. I've heard of Trickstars being okay or annoying, but I don't really care, to be honest. Noble Knight Pelinor. He looks cool. I'm sure he's noble, and I'm sure he's a knight, but is he Pelinor enough? That's up to you. Ink or Imp Cantation Penkiplume. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but again, looks dopey, doofy. Isn't this something to do with Beauty and the Beast? Or am I just being silly? I don't know. Either way, it is silly in itself. We've got Nightmare Griffin, though. He's cool, again, looking quite nice, and I don't know if he's any good or not, but it's a badass image, so we'll take him. And then Called by the Grave, which I think is actually supposed to be quite a good card. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do, until the end of the next turn, its effects are negated, as well as the activated effects effects of the field of monsters with the same original name. Yeah, I've heard these are quite in demand, or at least these are quite effective in some play decks, so that's actually quite a good card to have, from what I gather. I mean, I might be wrong, but I think it is. So that's really neat. Well, I shall definitely keep hold of that one. First edition as well, you see, means it's worth an extra penny. Cool. Uh, invincibility Barrier, uh, it's a thing. And Dino Wrestler, Kappa Terror, it's a Tekken thing, I guess. Uh, a Gave Dragon, another Link monster that actually looks really cool again. It's kind of like a Hydra fused with the screaming antler werewolf man thing. And they're all very pissed off. But there's flowers growing on his head, so everything's fine. Good times. Uh, Dino Wrestler Sistegosaur. Sistegosaur. Sistego. Lumbago. I don't know. Something along those lines. Sky Striker. Mecha Armory. Hercules Base. And Vampire Awakening. If you like that sort of thing, it's your dig. If you don't like me, I'm feeling nauseous. But there we go. So there's some cool cards there. Right. What we'll do is we're going to get the other tin, open them up, get the cards out. And then before we finish the video, we'll do a summary of the res and uh, hollows. Because somebody asked me to do that before and I shall do that. So yeah. Anyway, let's go get the next tin. Back in a sec. Ooh. And the second tin. Let's get it on then. Ooh, we've got something blue on here. What is it? It's the Magician of Black Chaos Max. Oh, that's cool. Well, at least we got one of the new sort of, um, like, alternative cards-ish thing. Oh, I don't care. Whatever. That's a cool card. Well, we won't get blue eyes, sadly, but we got that. That's pretty neat. Cool beans. Oh, the Exodia Legendary Defender. Okay, that is cool. I actually wanted one of those because I always used to like the Exodia deck format back in the day. And I do mean back in the day. There were some good builds you could have, but it was never a meta deck or anything. But it's still pretty cool nonetheless. So that's nice. Oh, and we got the spell card I wanted. The Dark Ruler No More. It's got a pretty damn good effect. I don't know how useful it actually is, but I'm really glad I got a copy of that because I was after that card. So that's made me happy. And then we've got Ring Dragon of Ra, alternative artwork. So we've now got all three god cards and then another slide for the Sky Dragon. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, I'm happy because we didn't get a Blue Eyes alternative ultimate dragon, which I would like. So uh, if my friend Yu-Gi-Oh! Hostman has got one of those, please let me have one. <laughs> if you've got one spare or I'll trade you for something. But those are cool. Excellent. Oh, at least we've got the spell card, which is what I was after. Right, let's go have a look at these mega packs and see what else we can get. Oh, that was good. Great. Okay, yeah. So, like I said, I'd love to have had the alternative dragon, but Chaos Max, I'll go with it. Right, well, let's see. We've got Crusadia Regulex. He's a regular down at his local pub. I'm not sure there how often. Cupid Volley. Uh, yep, she's never, not really anything near the real thing. Uh, Goki, t or Guki Tag Partner. It's a wrestling thing again. I don't know if they really have any of them actually are any good, but whatever's, so I'm just rambling. Three trolling trolls are trolling along. Tra -la 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 -la, tra -la 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 -la. Where are they going? Nobody knows. Trickstar Mandrake, we've seen before. Background Dragon, we've seen before. Center Frog. He's definitely the center of the party and the attention. And he's picking his nose. I do that. Oops, too much information. Another one of those pen things. Um, we've got Reprodocus or Reprodocus. Again, pretty cool. I like these dinosaur links. They're nice. And then we've got Crusadia Magius as a prismatic secret rare link monster. Is it any good? Has it only got 100 attack? I don't, know, I don't really care. Necrofusion. That's cool. 
Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials and sitting on the GUI face down, but it cannot attack this turn. Yeah, it's slow, but it's got some um, stuff. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there. Wiz, Sage for Hire. Domper, Marksman for Hire. Get the pun again. Oh, Konami, you're in your puns. They're punning annoying. Uh, Vampire Grimson. That's actually pretty cool, actually, the way they look at it. Oh, there's a bit of damage on the card. Oh, no. It's just dust. That's okay, then. Uh, Toll Hike, which I think is a joke version of Toll. Uh, each player must send one card from the hand to the graveyard to declare an attack. <laughs> That's cool. That can be gimmicky, but also quite destructive at the same time, if you're not careful. And Interrupt Resistor. Yeah, he would definitely be interrupting this video if he turned up. Let's hope he doesn't. Right. Oh, no, wait, he already has. Ah, he's interrupted it. You see what I did there? Ah, it's a terrible pun. No. It's a terrible English thing that I don't know what the correct term is. Let's move on with Vendred Anima. She looks pretty badass, actually. I like the artwork. Some of the artwork on these new cards are amazing. Uh, Psychic Ace. It's no Ace Rimmer, though, so he can go away. Crusadia Power. Looks quite fairy-like and awesome. Sim Tablir. Yeah, he reminds me of that buggy Pokemon I've been playing on on Pokemon Sword recently. Yes, I have Pokemon Sword, and yes, it's actually quite good. Although, to be fair, though, I'm not upset by the fact that there's not the whole Pokedex on it, and it doesn't use original animations for every Pokemon. But I understand people who are upset about that sort of thing, and some of their favourite Pokemon not being in the game. I totally get it, so I'm not going to defend the game to the hilt. But for me, who has played Pokemon pretty much over the last 20 years, although I kind of missed out on the 4th and 5th generations... It's fun. I'm just using it as a blast from the past, so yeah. Don't hurt me or dislike the video because I like Pokemon Sword. <laughs> or I shall end up in the deep grave. Because that's where I'm going to end up. Then we can play the games together. Ha ha ha. Uh, Paladin of Storm Dragon. Remember the old Paladin of White Dragon and I think there was a Dark Dragon or Black Dragon. So now there's a Storm Dragon to complete the trio. Noble Knight Custonen. His name was Custard originally. He changed it to Custodin, but nobody's fault. He is Noble Knight Custard. Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburners. They all played that Mega Drive Sega arcade game. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, then we've got Dino Wrestler Pan Pancratops, which is quite common, I think, from this tin, but it looks awesome. And yeah, I think it was originally a common, if I'm not much mistaken, and he's become an ultra rare. Not sure, could be wrong on that one. Oh, then we've got a repeat Prismatic Seeker rare. That's a bit boo, but never mind, it is what it is. Um, and then we got Diana the Light Spirit. She's just basically doing that thing. Haha, -ha, you've got a repeat, Neo. You see, it's all good. Oh, fucking listen, I want different cards. Uh, Salamandra Gift, before we carry on with that. Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon. That sounds like an amazing anime title. Somebody get onto that and make that, or manga, whichever you prefer. Crusadia Crawler. It's quite scary. Clock Spartoy. I'm never going to remember you. And the White Stingray. Not a match for the TV program. Right, one more pack. A repeat prismatic secret rare is a bit sad, but never mind. You can't have it always. Let's see what we end with then. We have Trickstar Delphindium. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, I mean, at least in terms of how it looks. World's Legacy Corruption. Pfft. If that doesn't sum up the world, I don't know what does. But the world is uglier than that card. Oh dear. Gooky the Giant Ogre. He's very giant. He's Gooky. Is he an ogre though? Well, he's a wrestler of some sort. Anyway, he's got a belt. Universal Adapter. We all need one of those when we desperately need them, but never could find one. Noble Arms Clarent. It's quite a cool looking equip spell card. What does it do? Don't really care. We've got a boycott in though. I remember seeing that. It's got 2,500 defense. What the hell? You take any battle damage your opponent would have taken from battles involved in this card. Ah, that would explain it. If this card battles, it's not destroyed, and you took damage from that battle, return this card to the hand. Eh, it's okay, I suppose. Uh, Crusadia Revival. That's quite a cool card for a uh, field spell card. Revendred Ex Executor is a badass looking card. Look at him. Awesome. like him a lot. Danger Nessie. <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster. That's cool. Because I think the Danger cards are based on kaijus or mythical creatures that we all come to know and love or something like that. But that's cool. I like that one. Don't know how good it is. Don't really care. Love the artwork. And at least we've got a different prismatic secret rare. We've got Mana Dragon Zirntron or Zernitron. His name is Zern. Nobody take him seriously. But he's a dragon and he looks colourful and pretty. And I'm sure he's pretty cool. Followed by Salaman Great Emerald Eagle. He's cool as well. Vampire Domination. Please don't because I've got a phobia of blood. Or at least the loss of blood. Salaman Great Sanctuary. 
I don't think he finds it great. He's very angry in that picture. The Revenge of the Normal. I remember that back in the day in a booster box set. I can't remember which one it was, but they kind of played on low-level vanilla monsters and all that stuff. So I'm guessing it's uh, coming back to that. But that's kind of cool. Performer pal Goldfang. Yes, he has more than one. So it really should it be Goldfangs. Or is Fang the plural? Or Fangy? Or Thing? I don't know. Either way, he's cool and he's golden. And we let end with the Gladiator Beast Drag Asses. I think I pronounced it something different last time, but my memory's so short I can't remember. Well, there you go. There are the cards. I'll do a quick summary and then we'll talk about them and then we'll go away and then you can get on with your lives. Back in a sec. And so we end. And it wasn't a bad little collection, really, to be honest with you. I mean, again, I don't know any of their worths or values or playability, but they were just cool to see. A couple of repeats, sadly, but other than that, did not do too badly. So some Summoner Summoner is my favourite rare just because of how gooky it looks. And we've got Realm of Danger, which again is another pretty good rare in terms of just how it looks, but again, in terms of its use, no idea. Crusadia Revival, again, might be good, might be bad, don't really care, but it's there. Uh, Noble Knight cust Custard. Yeah, I nearly forgot his name. Oh, you were close there, Costini, but no, I remembered. Santa Fraud picking his nose. He's probably my funniest favourite. And then Noble Knight Pelinor as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, moving on to the Supers. Two of these bloody pen... Uh, what are they called again? Feather pens? Fountain pen? Feather pen? Oh, I don't know what they're called. It's a fountain pen because it's got a nib that looks sad for itself, actually, which I've really just noticed. So there you go. Two of those because everyone loves them. Uh, Crusadia Arborea, which is a cool-looking card, of course. Candle Dude. He's pretty cool. I kind of like him, actually. He's cool. Reverend Dread Executor. God knows how good he is, if he is at all, but I love the artwork and the name. And then we've got Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburners as well. So that's our Supers. Uh, moving on to our Ultras. Uh, we've got uh, Reprodogus. I don't know if it's a pun of Reproductive, who knows. Thunder Dragon uh, Duo, which I think is pretty good, or one of the good ones, I don't know. Nightmare Unicorn is cool. I like him a lot, or her. I love the artwork on that one. Nightmare Griffin again, pretty cool as well. And then Danger Nessie, who loves a good bit of Danger Nessie. I certainly do. And then finally with the Dino Wrestler, he's pretty neat as well. So we like him as well. And then our Prismatic Rares. Um, these are just from the Mega Packs, by the way. So we've got two of these Sky Striker Ace Raves, which is a bit of a bummer, but never mind. Uh, followed by uh, Crusadia Maximus. He's pretty cool, but I don't know how good he is. Call of By the Grave is a good one. I know that, so that's nice to have one of those. Mana Dragon Zinatron is just looking awesome, but again, he's probably not that good. And then Crusadia Magius, which... Uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult to see, but again, might be all right, might not be. But those are our prismatic rares, so good, bad. Well, called by the grave is, I know that. And then finally, last but not least, our limited edition cards. The Neo Kaiser Glider, uh, the P uh, Palladium Oracle Manor, which is kind of cool. So we've got at least a good variation of this. Uh, that's one of the three cards. So that's a variation, Nibiru Primal Being. Again, pretty good if you know how to use it, I believe. Two Slide of the Sky Dragons, but that's okay, because when we got the Obelisk the Tormentor, and the Winged Dragon of Ra. So at least we've got all three alternative artworks of the God cards. That's pretty cool. And then Dark Ruler No More, which I really like this card. I would like to get another one at some point because I'd like to rebuild a tomb deck and make another tomb deck because I, I don't do meta or anything. I just haven't got the knowledge or the patience. I like to build gimmicky decks um, and this is a good way to try and help stall things even though it probably won't and doesn't work. But I like it. That's the thing, you see. Exodia the Legendary Defender. So it cannot be special summoned. You can tribute five monsters to tribute summon, but not set this card. The card's attack and defense becomes the combined original attack and defense of the tributed monsters. If this card summoned by this way destroys a Dark Fiend monster uh, owned by your opponent, you win the duel at the end of the damage step. So it's a bit of a niche, very difficult thing, very specific thing to do, but I like him anyway. And then, yeah, Magician of Black Chaos. What a card to end on. He looks so cool. Uh, you can register summon this card with Chaos Form, which I think we've got somewhere. Um, I think we pulled that one earlier. If this card is special summoned, you can tribute one monster. Your opponent cannot activate monster effects this turn. You can tribute one monster. Is that any monster or my monster? Is that going to contribute an opponent's monster? In which case, that's a powerful effect. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can target one spell card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. That's good as well. So yeah, pretty badass card again. Probably gimmicky, but what a card to end on. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, surprise but nice uh, Mega Ten opening. I've always wanted one of these. And thanks to my friend Yu-Gi-Oh! Hostman. Again, check out his videos below that he did with me and his channel. He doesn't really produce much content now, but he's got some old videos. So I think he's they're still on the channel. They're worth looking into. Thank you, old chum. Appreciate it. We've got to do that Pokemon thing at some point. I know I'm getting to it. I'm just busy working to earn pennies so I can get more penniful things. 
honest governor. But yeah, and these tins are cool as well. So yeah, anyway, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Oh, uh, I've got my, uh, just an update on people who are keeping up with the channel at this point. It'll be irrelevant later on, so check the recording date and you can skip this part if you want. Goodbye if you are. Um, I've got the NES part. I need to fix my NES, uh, which is over there in the corner. Um, and then we'll try and get back to where we were with um, Sweet Home. I'm going to try and do it original. If not, I'll emulate it. And then, of course, we've still got... Um, Tales of Basiria. We will finish that at some point. But yeah, as I said, I've been busy. I've just had an exam as well for a course I'm taking to try and improve my career prospects and change my life to earn more monies and pennies. And it went well. Passed with flying colours today, which was great. Uh, it's only one of so many exams, but it's nice to start winning early because you can always do that. But anyway, take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you're well and have a good one. Bye.